Kairos, WWE News and Rumors has shown you another video and this time guys I have a Smackdown Live August 16th 2016 preview for you lot guys this is the last Smackdown Live before the second biggest event of the year the hottest party in the WWE Summer Slam and this will be take, take place at Fr Frank Irwin Center in Austin Texas guys and where to watch it on the USA Network or Sky Sports, guys. So let's get right into it. I don't want to waste any of your time. The Lunatic Fringe and the Show of Journey to Miz TV. As they prepare to go to war at the biggest party of the summer, WWE World Heavyweight Champion Dean Ambrose and his number one contender Dolph Ziggler will stand face to face with the A lister edging them on. What could possibly go wrong? So, so one, two, three, four, five. The top five quick hits. Well, number one, what will happen when Ambrose and, Zog and Ziegler come face to face on Miss TV? Two, can the face that runs the place rise above excellence itself? Three, the tag team and women's divisions continue to heat up. Four, will he Slater be back for another try at SmackDown Live? Five, where will the Viper strike next heading into SummerSlam? So we're going to be talking about what will happen when Ambrose and Ziegler come face to face on Miss TV first. Guys, we've seen how... Um, Dolph Ziggler, people thought Dolph Ziggler was a worthy number one contender of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, but he proved everyone wrong by beating Bray Wyatt and getting strong booking in the last few weeks. Moreover, it would be interesting to see if Bray Wyatt continues to be an ominous thorn in the side of the WWE World title picture, full of the buzzards and refu refuse to miss SmackDown Live. So guys, imagine if this match could turn into a triple threat match for the WWE World of It Championship. I don't think this will happen, but just imagine. Number two, can the face that runs the place rise above excellence itself? So guys, I hope, I'm hoping John Cena and AJ Styles are going to be there at the last SmackDown Live before SummerSlam to build up on their highly anticipated singles matchup, guys. And I already said that I think AJ Styles should win, and I think he will win. Um, last month, and WWE.com has learned that John Cena will be in action tonight, squaring off against longtime adversary Alberto Del Rio. So it looks like two people, two super, big superstars that are rusty, are gonna go against Alberto Del Rio. We're gonna see the same booking like last week. Is he gonna hit John Cena with the chair like we saw when the Orton faced Alberto Del Rio last week? In case you don't remember, Del Rio just so happens to be the guy who ended Cena's historic reign as the United States Champion at WWE Hell in a Cell in October 2015, which is very true. To say there's some bad blood would be an understatement, and if Cena's not careful, he would be walking into his SummerSlam bout against AJ Styles with a broken arm. Then again, will the phenomenal one choose to wait for Sunday's showdown with the leader of the Cena Nation? After all, Styles is one superstar who enjoys taking advantage, any advantage he can get, guys. So I, ho I really hope AJ Styles and John Cena is on the show. And the tag team and women's divisions continue to heat up. Um, We saw the um, SmackDown Live general manager Daniel Bryan announced that there will be tag team championships and women's championship for SmackDown Live brand, guys, on Talking Smack. But... We have no idea when this will be revealed. Possibly the first SmackDown Live after SummerSlam. I think it will be revealed and then matches for the championships will be held at the SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view WWE Backlash. Now, will he slay to be back for another try at SmackDown Live? Guys, we saw last night Brock Lesnar taking his later to Suplex City. That was the best segment on Monday Night Raw in my opinion. Took him to Suplex City and S5 him. He Slater went out to the ring with courage and saying how um he's gonna fight for his kids, he's gonna get a contract, he's gonna get a job for his kids. And Brock Lesnar was so nice and he was like, I don't give up blah 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 about your kids, but guys, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna give it away now. I'm gonna stick to SmackDown Live. That rule this rule review will be coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon because right now in the UK it is twelve fifty three. And SmackDown Live starts in 7 minutes, so hopefully I am allowed to watch SmackDown Live at 1am. So that's it, and I think Heath Slater will be on this SmackDown Live show. And we'll see what Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon 
have plans for him to try to earn his WWE contract. Where will the Viper strike next heading into SummerSlam? As I said, we saw Brock Lesnar get a strong build on Raw. So I think they need to top it up on SmackDown with Randy Orton destroying someone. You just need Randy Orton to destroy someone. In the last few weeks, Dean Ambrose on the Stone Cold podcast and Daniel Bryant on Talking Smack have alluded to Rose Brock Lesnar's laziness due to the infrequency with which he competes. While we would never ever use that word to describe the Conqueror, one can never make such a statement about the Beast Incarnate SummerSlam opponent Randy Orton. Since returning to WWE, the Viper has been quite busy taking out the likes of Chris Jericho, Intercontinental Champion The Miz and Alberto Del Rio. So which superstar would be the next to make a pit stop in Viper, Viperville and route to Orton's epic clash against Lesnar at the biggest party of the summer, guys? So that's the top points for WWE Smackdown Live tonight, guys. Smackdown Live is starting in six minutes now. So that's it for this video. Make sure to share it all over the internet. Make sure to RKO that like button, Dirty Deeds that like button. Make sure to comment, reply to all of your comments, and subscribe.